GR to the whole phones. Not happening. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. We're back with another edition of Behind Closed Doors. This time, episode 63. With uh, I'm just here to do another quick video on Gary Rowan rumoured departure to West Brom. It's not happening. It's not happening. It got shot down. It got shut down by Jake Sanders early on this afternoon. Um... Apparently, um, he doesn't fit the bill of what West Brom are looking for. So, look, that's the end of that. Gary Rower will not be going to West Brom. Could he be Could he be going to Middlesbrough? I wouldn't be surprised if he's put his name in the hat for that one either, but that's another video for another day. But, yeah, we're here to talk about West Brom and Gary Rower. Gary Rower is not in line to replace Steve Bruce. At the whole forms, I mean, look, I could put this video out and something dramatically could change over the next few hours. It's a crazy world football, but as it stands, Gary Rower is not going to the whole forms. Um, it broke, it broke about forty-eight hours ago, didn't he? He wants to go home. Gary Rower wants to go home. He wants to go back to the Midlands, um, and he wants to join, um, reunite with his family after three years. And look. I don't mind him doing that. I don't mind him leaving. I don't mind him going if it for that reason. But he can't. What he done? So by saying them words, he he said he was very very keen and interested in taking the job at the Hall Forms. By him doing that, he is in my well, not in my opinion. I know he is in breach of his Millwall contract. He is in breach of his mill contract. Um, he's not sticking by his contracts. Yes, he can have dreams of managing West Brom one day, but he is still under contract at Millwall. He's employed by Millwall Football Club. I hope you get where I'm coming from. Um, so I think he's lucky he didn't get the tic tac straight away then. This is not the first time he said it. This is not the first time he said it. He said... Um, he said the same comments about Sunderland. This is the first time he's actually put out there now public. He cannot take it back. He wants to go home. He wants to go home. He wants to go up, back up to the Midlands. He wants to join his family again. So that's the first time he's seen said them words. But with the comments he said before saying them words, I don't think they're going to go down well with the fans. He's got a fragile relationship with the, with the fans as it is, Mr. Gary Rower, and I don't think you've done yourself any favour, any favours, I think he's going to get slaughtered at the weekend, and I can actually see him within the next few games, maybe two, maybe even after the weekend, um, I can actually see him resigning, because I don't think he would be able to deal with the pressure of what the fans are going to be like singing and saying to him at Bristol City, because it's going to be a very, very, very um, um, ugly um, place for him to go and work um, on Saturday. He can't take them words back. He said he is um, interested and very keen, was his words, on taking the job at the Hall Forms. And he wants to be, he don't want to be here. He wants to go home. He said, I want to go home. That's what he said. And I don't think he would be able to take them words back now. And I think um, it's the beginning of the end because I actually can see him resigning in the next few games. Because I don't actually... My pre match prediction will be coming out very, very soon. I don't think with these with these instructions, I don't think we're actually going to beat um, Bristol City. I actually think we're going to lose now because of these instructions. I didn't before, but now... Um, the preparation must have been been, honed, um, been stalled a little bit because of these rumours. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Gary Rower, for now, remains in SE16. 
I can see him resigning now. Coming lines.